हेलो व्यूज टूडेज टॉपिक इज हार्ट ब्लॉक्स हार्ट ब्लॉक्स इन्वॉल्विंग द वेंट्रिकल मे बी सिम्टोमेटिक और ऑफ लिटल कॉन्सिक्वेंस एक्सेप्ट टू पॉइंट टू द अंडरलाइंग हार्ट और लंग डिजीज एंड दे आर डायग्नोज बाय द ई के जी नाउ द हार्ट ब्लॉकिंग इन्वॉल्विंग द एट्रीम कैन बी क्लासीफाइड ए फर्स्ट सेकेंड और द थर्ड डिग्री सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट डिग्री हार्ट ब्लॉक सो फर्स्ट डिग्री हार्ट ब्लॉक इज ए कामन एंड यूजली ऑफ लिटल सिग्निफिकेंस एंड देर इज इज a slight delay in getting the electrical signal from the sa node to the av node uh, but the heart functions normally the second one is uh, there are two types of the second degree heart attack uh, sorry heart block which is type 1 and type 2 Now the third degree heart block describes the complete loss of the contraction between the ventricular activity of the atria and the ventricles. Now the second and third degree heart attacks as blocks are diagnosed by analyzing heart rhythm strips and the EKGs. Now the heart blocks are uh, symptomatic because uh, the heart beats so slowly that cardiac output is decreased now the symptoms may include light headedness uh, passing out which means syncope weakness shortness of breath and the chest pain now the diagnosis and the treatment of the life threatening heart block happen at the same time and the patient with the bradycardia may be taking medications that can slow the heart including the beta blockers and a certain a certain calcium channel blockers you know so if the patient is stable this can be taken to have the medications uh, wear off while the patient is monitored and if the bradycardia remains a pacemaker may be needed and in certain situations a temporary pacemaker can be placed to stabilize the patient um, while the decisions are made to be on permanent solution you know The next thing is uh, when to seek the medical care. Well, unexplained palpitations uh, are not normal, and especially when associated with the shortness of breath, sweating, uh, feeling of chest uh, pressure in the chest, you know, or the passing out or syncope. You know. So the person should uh, be made comfortable and laid flat, and uh, emergency medical services should be. Uh, help should be activated by calling the, the emergency number in your current country you know whether it is 911 is 999 or 1122 or whatever the number is you know wherever you are you need emergency services straight away and if the person is uh, unconscious or uh, unresponsive and the basic life support uh, should be initiated uh, emergency services uh, and uh, the primary care professional should be contacted urgently to seek the advice you know and if the episode uh, is a recurrent problem and the diagnosis is known and the rhythm uh, disturbance resolves itself then a less urgent call to the primary care professional is warranted so it is uh, uh, reasonable to seek uh, emergency medical care at any that a uh, heart rhythm disturbance has occurred if there is concern that the heart problem is present you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you good bye